So today I'm uh, editing a video that I took on the 7th of July. It was of a, a cat sighting, a, a large black cat with what appeared to be a, a rabbit in its mouth. I got there between 30 and 40 minutes after the sighting, went into the woods and immediately there were three of us that went in and immediately we had a, a smell of, uh, a musky smell of, of like cat urine. We were in there looking around, trying to find tracks, found partial track, um, and, and, and that was it. Then, while we were in there, two dogs showed up, okay? Uh, and the dogs were actually black labs, which gave the person who made the sighting, uh, who contacted me, uh, put a lot of doubt in his mind that, well, geez, maybe I saw a black lab, he said. But in actuality, he said, I, I, the tail did look longer. He said, but it all happened so fast. He said, I can't be 100% sure. So when the dogs showed up, kind of doubted what he had seen, <clears throat> and we decided to leave the area. And it was only after the fact that we, we realized that the dogs appeared out of nowhere. They came in, they weaved in between us. These are black labs, normally a very, very friendly dog. They weaved in between us, uh, obviously smelling whatever it was that we smelled, picked up a trail, and we're gone. They, they had their nose to the ground, and, and the two dogs were just kind of weaving, weaving in and out and smelling all around, and whew, as fast as they appeared, they, they left. And there was an easterly wind that day, so it was blowing from the dump road towards uh, uh, a little uh, a farm, and that's where the dogs were. Okay, so the light blue dotted line, greenish blue, is the direction that the cat traveled. You can see where we found the track in question. The red circle is the hobby farm and uh, neighboring dwellings around it where the dogs came from, the two black labs. The dotted red line shows where the labs first appeared. They circled around that area a little bit and then poof, they, uh, they, they took off as quickly as they they arrived, the yellow arrow showing the, the direction of, of the winds. And you can look up in the far right hand corner of the picture and you can see that uh, north is, is uh, straight up there. So this was the area of the sighting and definitely with the easterly winds, if the cat sprayed in there, those dogs would have picked it up and showed up and it's kind of the way it happened, you know. Uh, like I said, for two black labs to show up and not pay any attention to uh, three people standing and walking around uh, just don't make sense, right? It's, it's not characteristic of the way uh, the black labs normally behave. So I think, personally, looking back, because we never really thought about how the dogs were behaving when we were in there. We just thought, oh my goodness, uh, maybe this explains the sighting that, that well, we thought you had. But it was after the fact that uh, started started processing just the way the dogs were behaving, the the way they had their noses to the ground, how quickly they showed up, how quickly they left, and never paid any attention to us. And and these are dogs, black labs. Every black lab that I've ever known will always come up and, and sniff you and, and get pet, and you know what I mean. They're, they're always a very friendly dog. So um, I'll let you guys just decide as to uh, what we seen that day. And, and that's probably, this is why I probably set on to it, because we still don't have that, uh, I don't know what you call it, uh, you know, that for sure evidence that we need, you know. I think this was a, a good sighting, though, I really do. Uh, looking back, looking at everything, looking at how the dogs behaved, uh, taking time to, uh, re to process it afterwards. Um even though it did put doubt in his mind and he said, you know, it, it happened so fast. And these sightings do happen fast. But anyways, watch the video. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, so there, there was a, a possible big cat sighting here this morning. And wait, now I can tell you what I'm looking at here is 100% canine. I can see the toes are, side toes are further back. And two front toes are up together. Claw mark, claw mark, claw mark, claw mark. And when you go between the toes, of the front and back, you form a perfect X, 100% canine. But there's a couple of tracks in here that are weren't 
taking a look at. A lot of garbage here, what a sin. But this this was the old dump road. Here's here's a track of interest right here. The toes are more even across the front, typical of a cat. It's only a little over three inches, probably about three and a half inches. And uh, with, with that wider pad, you should, if it was better soil, you if it was a cat, you'd see two little lobes up front and three back here, right? You see one here, one would be in center and one would be off over on the back part here. There'd be a lobe here, 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 and here and here. But the toes are more uh, cat-like and, and not, on that track. Okay, so I just got back from uh, scouring around here in, in, the, in the woods and there was supposedly a large black cat sighting on this road carrying something like a rabbit in its mouth this morning. What we did find in there are we found two black lab uh, Labrador retrievers. They showed up after we were in there scouring around a bit. I don't know where they came from. But uh, prior to that, we did find a track that was very cat like. Uh, not, not at all like canine. And as we went in, um, we smelled something that to me reminded me of that Sahara mist that I use for attracting, uh, for attracting cats. So there was a very uh, cat-like musky uh, smell in there. And after we were in there for a bit, these two uh, labs showed up. So, and then they, then they disappeared. I wanted to get them on film, but they, they disappeared. They just passed right through. So, uh, maybe somebody in the, in the near, in the area near, near that pond owns a couple of black labs. But anyways, uh, no definite concrete proof that it was indeed a cat sighting. The description was very cat-like, but when the dog showed up, the person who's seen the cat said well maybe I didn't see a cat maybe I seen one of these dogs but he really did believe he saw a cat and with the uh, with the track that we found with the cat like musky smell in there uh, I still believe he could have seen a cat uh, and these dogs might have just come and, and investigated the area where the, where the cat sprayed because uh, there was a, a good order there for a bit and it smelled like cat so who knows just uh, another one of those uh, sightings we gotta chalk up as a, as a question mark and if those dogs wouldn't have showed up it wouldn't have been a question mark uh, but seeing as how two black dogs showed up it, it raises uh, a good uh, amount of doubt right there as to whether or not it was a cat however the track that I come across in there was definitely not canine, so I don't know. Uh, it's just one of those, one of those uh, things, eh? You never know what you're going to come across. You never know what you're going to see until you actually get out there and you and you do a little bit of exploring. So, gotta go home now. Gotta do some interior work. Uh, Going to be. Uh, doing some drywall work and plastering and painting <laughs> drywall plastering painting that does not sound like fun anyways uh i guess that's something that's going to start after dinner i wanted to get it started this morning but uh it'll be an after dinner project now <laughs>